Time to clean out the hay glue for fall. We found that uh, we're gonna need to stack the hay in a different way, give it a little bit more air. It's got a little bit too much mold in it and uh, we're just throwing it out into compost over in the big garden for a couple years now we can, we can use it once it's composted through. But um, it was too big of a waste, we don't wanna have that happen again. So we're thinking about stacking, putting a pallet, stacking. That way the pallet in between the stacks will give a little bit more airflow. So we're gonna try that this year, but for right now, I'm going through the last of what we've got in hay glue. We have another trailer full that we're gonna load in here tomorrow after we get it thoroughly cleaned out and uh, see if that new uh, way to stack will work for us. All I'm doing right now is sorting through hay that's good with the hay that we wouldn't wanna to feed to the animals and getting the hay that's viable up on the table and the other out. Well, it looks like what we had left was okay. So that's nice, this is a nice stack. I honestly thought we were gonna be throwing away at least half of it, but I don't see any, uh, any problems with it. So that's a plus. Now tomorrow we'll just get this swept out and, and restat. Um, as always, there could always be a change in our plans because that's how we are. But right now I think the, the pallet method is what we're gonna give a shot. So uh, on to the next thing. All right, so you remember my bush beans that have had the nasty Mexican bean beetle attacking them. Uh, tried BT, found out that that didn't work. Um, tried neem oil, could have been operator error. I may have put a little bit too much oil in the spray and I ended up kind of killing the leaves a bit. I get, yeah, that's not a happy leaf, nor am I happy about having done that to them myself. However, you would think with that much neem oil that you'd have some kind of a show and tell here of, um, of the bean beetles. Well, I'm going to show and tell you it didn't work. See those suckers? See the little suckers? Neem oil didn't seem to scare them. I have been picking off know if you can see that picking off a bunch of them so I'm gonna tell you the best method for getting rid of Mexican bean beetles are your own two pinchers and some water if you're feeling devilish because um, nothing else seemed to work so the rain's been good to us it's filled this tank and with it continuing I decided to grab my trusty little pump little black thing up there. Best investment I've made. I've been bucketing everything. This is great. So I'm pumping into the last one here. You can see I've got my hose connected and that's the one that I water with. I also pump, hook the pump up to the spigot down here and that way I have pressure in the garden and I don't have to bucket it in either. Water in the garden was darn near a two hour event. Now it takes me about 20 minutes to half an hour. What a saving. So, I wanted to show you that we may very well have, by the end of this little shower this week, uh, three IBCs full of garden water. That one is uh, water for the dogs, so that's, um, that's drinking water. But uh, not bad from carrying buckets to picking tomatoes while the water's pumping over. know if you'll be able to hear what I can hear, but I hear buzzing inside of here. favorite kids Bonnie and Parker and trying really hard not to waste anything here on the farm making radish top pesto I do carrot top pesto although I guess I could probably share the carrot tops with the rabbits but I am um, I had some beet tops and 
I planted beets, not because I love them, Mr. Blue Jeans does, um, but Gigi and I not so much. Uh, but I planted them because I like to juice beets. Uh, they're really good for people with gallbladder trouble. And uh, I make a juice with apples, beets, celery, uh, a little bit of lemon, and some ginger, and it, and it really it's actually tastes really good. Uh, but I didn't want to waste the beet tops, and I knew I wasn't going to do anything else with them. So I was curious if donkeys like beet tops. I don't know. If they don't, I'm going to go on to the sheep. But I thought I'd bring you out and we'd give it a try and see if they like them or not. All right, guys. What do we think? Okay, so I have to say, Bonnie's never turned down anything. Clyde's turned down watermelon. All right, Parker. Let's see if Parker likes it. All right, Pooh. Come on, Parker. Oh, wow. Don't let mom, oh, mom stole it. Okay, hurry up, Parker, go quick. She's gonna do it again. Go over here. We're gonna go over here. Bonnie! Bon Bon. bon. <laughs> okay, yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Donkeys like beet tops. So there you go. There's nothing like field testing. <laughs> Come here, Angus, come get a scratch. Come get a scratch. Who's my best boy? Who comes to me like a puppy dog? This crazy guy. This crazy guy. You're amazing. I know we hear a lot about rams and and I'm always careful with him just in case, but he is the, the most incredible guy. And so handsome too. So we've let Duke come out. There's the sheep, watching Duke, who's over here still figuring, like, why am I out here? My buddies are in there. Because you're getting trained, Bubba. But this is hilarious. It's like dog TV. Oh, they finally turned around. They're bored now. <laughs> 